there's a story in the Gospel of Luke that takes place in a tree. It's the familiar story of a man named Zacchaeus. He lived in Jericho, the scriptures teach us, and it teaches us a few other things. The Bible tells us that he was a chief tax collector. That is, he worked for the Romans as a Jew to collect money from his fellow Jews, and he became wealthy because of it. He lined his pockets with the extra money that he brought in because he was also, we are told, dishonest. He didn't have a very good reputation in town at all. In fact, no one wanted to be around Zacchaeus. I'm sure he was the subject of ugly conversations and descriptions about his life and who he was and what he did. I imagine he was pretty much friendless no one really to talk to on a daily basis to share his life with or to experience really probably any kind of joy. Well, on this day, we are told that Jesus had come to town and Zacchaeus heard about it. We're also told that Zacchaeus was very short. And so the crowds had lined the street, much like we might see in a parade perhaps. And Zacchaeus couldn't see over the crowds. So he did the next best thing. He ran down the road just a little bit and found what we are told was a sycamore tree. And he climbed up in its branches and he waited, hoping that Jesus would pass his way. Well, the gospel tells us that Jesus did pass his way. Zacchaeus didn't say a word, and Jesus noticed him hanging in the tree. Must have been quite a spectacle. And somehow Jesus knew who Zacchaeus was, because he calls him by name, and he says, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. I'm going to your house today to spend some time with you. Well, that had to be a shocking revelation to Zacchaeus because no one ever wanted anything to do with him. Now Jesus, this respected rabbi, this miracle worker, was now inviting himself over to Zacchaeus' house. I imagine the people around the situation grumbled, and they did, saying, Jesus is going home with this fella? Doesn't he know he's a sinner, the kind of life that he has chosen to live? Wouldn't it be better to go to someone with a little more, well, you know, self-respect standing in society? Well, Zacchaeus hops down from the tree and he says to Jesus, I have cheated people. And if I've cheated people, I'm going to pay them back and I'm going to pay them back four times as much. And then he says, I'll take half of what I have and I'll give it away to the poor. Well, Jesus is astonished at his behavior calls him a son of Abraham. That is, he gives him a name, an identity, as a part of the community of faith. Jesus looks at the crowd and tells them this is what he's here for, to seek and to save the lost. Well, sometimes in our modern day world, we see individuals and we think they are beyond hope. We might label them as a sinner or some other label of the day. We might write them off as no good, have nothing to do with them, avoid them, talk about them. But Jesus comes along and he says to us, I've come to seek out those everyone else has thrown away. And I've come to save those all who feel lost and hopeless and without a life and without a promise of a better day. You see, as Christians, it's easy for us at times to write people off as though they don't matter, as they aren't important. Maybe we don't agree with the life they've chosen or the things they've done. But if we're going to be followers of Jesus, we have to be a people who continually look up in the trees and ourselves seek out those who are hurting, who are empty, who are lost, and realize that we're called to offer the same kind of love and grace and acceptance 
that Jesus offered to Zacchaeus. You see, you'll never know what you can find in a tree. There may be someone there looking for Jesus. And the wonderful thing is that Jesus perhaps has sent us their way to tell them about him. That's good news for all of us because at one time or another, we're all hanging from a tree looking for the right answer in our life.